Hey guys, I wanted to share a few thoughts with you about branding and design when it comes to your social media. I think this is, I know this is an area that accountants particularly struggle with. First, sometimes because you don't have clarity on your brand, but then secondly, I think a lot of accounts have just said to me, like, I, I just don't know what looks good or how to, how to match this or how to make it work. And um, so I wanna to talk to you about why it's so important and some specific things that you can do about it. So the first thing that I want to look at is you've got to know what your brand is. You've got to know what it what it looks like, what the font is, what the colors are, what the shapes are, the kind of things you do and don't do. Now, if you are a profitable firm client and we're doing outsourced marketing for you, one of the standard things we're starting to do is to develop a style sheet, a tone of voice sheet, a brand sheet, um, imagery sheet is another one. So there's three sheets that we share uh, with you that we create for you so that our team knows your brand. So we know your design and we know your fonts and we can keep consistent. But it's also hopefully super helpful for you and your team for anything that you're going to do. So I would say if you already are an outsourced marketing client of ours and you don't have these, talk to us about them. If you would like help creating them, of course that's something we can do as a one-off, but you can create them yourself. And I'll show you just now uh, the profitable firm ones and we can have a look at those. So these are the three uh, documents that we create for every client of ours, but I'm just gonna show you the PF one so you can understand uh, how these work. So there's three documents, one's for imagery, One's for your style and your brand, and one is for your tone of voice. And I'll just go through these quickly, but I would strongly encourage you to either craft your own, you know, just do your best, put together a few photographs and some designed images and font and style and things. Or as I said, if you're a profitable firm, we'll, we'll build that for you. But what you can see here is we've done two elements. One is what kind of photographs are the type that we like? And you can instantly see here, you can see the type of colors. You can see that we like, uh, we don't, we're not opposed to stock photography. I think all, uh, these three are all stock photos. This one is one that actually was taken of one of the team writing. Um, IMAX, um, coffee, yellow, uh, clean lines. Um, you can see the profitable firm colors that go together, which we'll look at in a second. So you're seeing consistency, and this is really important for you and your team, because it's tempting to just grab whatever image, but it's important to remember that these images mean something. We've also noted uh, this is the sort of uh, designed icons that we do, and that's another important one, um, because that helps if you're getting these crafted or created, then your designer will know what kind of style to use. And we've taken these from our website. If you go to the Profitable Firm website, you're gonna see designs like this. And if our graphic, if our internal graphic designer is creating icons, she's gonna to try to match this kind of style, this kind of font. And then that leads us into this style and brand sheet. Now, we have a whole branding identity document for the Profitable Firm and for any client that we work with on their brand identity. But again, we've simplified this down to what are the main colors? What are the hex codes? I don't know if you're familiar with these, but this is really important. This means that we don't just pick a random blue. I mean, you can even see here, I've got these slides uh, sitting here. That green is exactly this green because we've made sure that it's this hex code. And then you've got these RGB and Pantones, which is what you would need for printers and things. These are really important. I, I've i actually personally been really amazed at how often I use this when I'm going into uh, an, an online cloud cloud system of some kind, maybe our proposal system or something like this, and it lets you choose the color and so often it will let you actually enter the hex code. So when you have those and you have those to hand and your team does, you're not just randomly picking a yellow. It is amazing what happens when I pick a yellow that I think is the same as this, and it's really not. Um, it's totally different. Then we have the primary and secondary fonts. So we've got Zona Pro as our primary font, and then Hello Beautiful is the name of the, the main kind of header font that we use here and there. Um, the last thing that we have here is tone of voice. Now, this was developed in a workshop with the whole uh, PF team, 
where we all wrote down words that we thought described us, then we discussed which words we want to describe us, and then we picked the top four that just really stood out for us here, creative, positive, authoritative, and motivating. And then what we used some of the extra words to say, well, when we say motivating, we really mean inspiring, helpful, supportive, and we put those in there. This is super helpful for when we're writing something, when we're sharing social media posts, any of this kind of thing, because it helps everybody to say, is my post creative, positive, authoritative, and motivating? Obviously, every single social media post isn't going to be all of those things, but a lot of times it's really surprising. And we might say, okay, well, we're being um, authoritative, but we don't want to be bossy. And we want to be uh, creative, but we don't want to be self-focused. So we want to talk about our clients as well. So this is a really good exercise. I've got a whole blog post on that. If you if you can't find it on the, the Profitable Firm site, just send us uh, a message and we'll, we'll make sure you get that about how to develop your own. But having these things is really going to help you to know your brand. And then once you have these, then you can move to some of the other things uh, that we want to look at in terms of branding, which is the headers that you have for your social media and the thumbnails. Um, and then we'll look at imagery in a second. So let me jump to the social media that we have for the profitable firm. I'm going to use us as an example. We've got loads of accountants that we can use as an example too. But I just want to show you because, uh, depending when you're watching this video, fairly recently, within this year, we completely redid our branding. And every single social account that we use, uses this branding. Now, what you're going to notice is that there's like when you look at all of these, there's consistency throughout, uh, but they're not all exactly the same. So Instagram, we used more of this lighter green, whereas Facebook, we're using the darker green. And um, the header is very similar on a couple of these, but it's not the same shape, it's not the same size. You can see just flicking through the photos that we have, we've started to do all of our photos and images are all matching to this and we're using those colors and you can see that the font and the, the style and the um, this is that Hello Beautiful font we looked at. And even, you know, looking at the imagery that we're choosing, you can see that we're trying to choose ones that are, are fitting within that general style. And they're not all going to be exactly like that. Of course, if we retweet somebody else's, you're going to see different images. But this one, I think, is a perfect example. We've actually taken a stock image and then taken a screenshot from our website and put that on there so that we have imagery in everything we do. And this is just, this is just, just a post that we did. But if you click through to the post and now you're on the site and you've got consistency and consistency and the font is the same and this is the that's the primary font there's the secondary font there it is again there it is again here's the colors and even when you hover over this that becomes that blue this is that green you're seeing all that consistency the reason this is so important is that it helps build trust so many accountancy firms have cobbled together just random uh, headers, maybe no header at all. Uh, you might not even have a profile image. This is my personal uh, profile from LinkedIn. And I, I've made sure to choose an image where I'm actually wearing PF colors myself. And I did that on purpose. A lot of the team will have a PF header that's very similar. One of the next things we're gonna do is get custom headers for all the team that are different. Uh, but that all fit together. These are all the sort of things you can do. But I just want to stress that the reason that we're, we're encouraging you to look at this and to think about this is because when somebody comes to any of your social, the, the goal is to move them to your website, you know, as we said, with the links and the videos and the blogs and all this, and you want them to match those together and feel that they're getting consistency because that encourages them to get in touch. It encourages them to be willing to pay more uh, because what we've seen is that when prospects look at your branding and they see that you are consistent all across the board, they instantly, without realizing it even sometimes, connect that with, oh, okay, so they've got all this stuff sorted out. 
This must be either a bigger company or a more profitable one. Therefore, I am ready and willing to pay a little bit more because I'm connecting that. It doesn't mean that you can't do amazing things with social, even if your branding isn't consistent, but having that consistent branding and imagery and design is going to go a long way to helping people connect with you on social, uh, engage with you, be impressed by you, and ultimately get in touch with you and want to work with you. So that was, that was about all that I had to share. I think it's important for you uh, as a firm to know your brand, make sure your headers are consistent, even if it's the same one for every single social media platform you use, but just with the different sizes, that the thumbnails you use uh, are complementary. I'm sure we've looked at this in previous videos, but uh, you'll notice that the PF icon that we use in the thumbnail is a solid color so that it stands out when it's really we and it also fits with the brand when it's bigger. And then the imagery you want to use reflects that and connects with that and you don't just use things that are random. That's all that I had to share. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.